Shalom, body of Christ. Today is January the 7th, 2023. I want to get started with prayer if you'll join me. With the key of David, I place the cloak of invisibility over this communication, over our minds, body, spirit, and our hearts. In holy Yeshaya's name, I declare this. Amen. So I just want to start off by giving all of the glory to Father Ahaya, our Mashiach, holy Yeshaya, and Holy Spirit, Ruach HaKodesh. Amen. So I'm just coming on today uh, just to sound the alarm. Sound the alarm for there is a prophecy out there that several of us have received uh, that may be rearing its head. And as watchmen on the wall, um, we do need to take to our podiums as trumpets at this hour and sound the alarm. So that's what I'm doing today. And uh, I'm just bringing you this forth um, from a word that uh, a sister in Christ, uh, Queen Warrior, uh, has shared with us this morning. And it, it surely did bring to my attention, and I should say Father brought to my attention because in the forefront of my mind, it, it was not there. Only Father could do that and call my attention to sound the alarm. So that is what I'm doing today. I'm sounding the alarm in case that, in fact, um, this is the hour of this prophecy and several of us have received a similar prophecy pertaining to Texas and Mexico. So with that being said, apparently uh, Queen Warrior was discussing with us that um, in the Brownsville and Matamoros area of Mexico and Texas, there have been spotted Russian troops on the side of Mexico. Uh, they have taken up camp. Apparently, how they're doing this with cartel there, it is not quite clear. But what we do know from that area and others in that area um, are witnessing is that these things are not being reported on the mainstream media, whether it's in the mainstream media or local news is not covering and reporting that Russian troops indeed are stationed on the side of Matamoros, Mexico. So this is important um, because if you've followed this channel for some time, you do know that Father has given us Texas and Mexico to be alert and be watchful of this area. I'm going to quickly go through this. This will not be a long message. Uh, it is simply to um, notify those who may be in that area and who are not aware or nearby that area or have family in that area. We need to be sounding the alarm in boldness and we need to do it as trumpets. So I'm just going to give you a flashback of that word here. Um, just a, a screenshot really of that word. Um, I can include the original video uh, that was recorded uh, on your screen here. You will see that it was recorded October the 7th. Today is the 7th, by the way, of January. Um, this was done in October 7th of 2016. And the title to this video, as you will see, is called The Lord Post-Rapture Reality When Our Loved Ones Vanish and words given were Texas and Mexico. So um, with that being said, we want to reference also scripture. I'll start with this one here in Matthew chapter 24, verses 19 through 21. And woe unto them that are with child, and to them that give suck in those days. But pray ye that your flight be not in winter, neither on the Sabbath day. For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world, to this time no nor ever shall be. In chapter in John, excuse me, uh, chapter sixteen, verses thirty three, Father reassures us um, and comforts us. These things I have spoken to you that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. This is the area here on the map that you will see on the Brownsville and Matamoros area. The um, prefix of Matamoros is matar. Matar in Spanish means to kill. 
Okay, I will add references in the pinned message or the description box with further um, insight, um, just matching up uh, scripture and, of course, this area that Father's pointing to us and reminding us of this prophecy of Texas and Mexico. Father also comforts us in Psalm 91, 11. For he will order his angels to protect you wherever you go. In Matthew chapter 10, verse 19. But when they deliver you up, take no thought how what you shall speak. For it shall be given to you in that same hour what you shall speak. Father has given me these words and comforted me that in the hour of tribulation that should not be confused with the great tribulation, they are two separate things, um, that we should not um, be concerned because he will indeed give us the words to speak as trumpets. So please be advised of this and be comforted. Um, I just, again, want to come in obedience because of these um, words that... Um, Queen Warrior shared with us this morning, uh, Father sounded the alarm in, in my in my spirit immediately and reminded me of the Texas-Mexico prophecy. So if anybody uh, in the body of Christ, Christ, excuse me, has received similar words for Texas and Mexico as a point of reference for us to watch, then by all means, please edify this word. And um, now more than ever, the body of Christ should be working together. So I pray that this blesses you, and I just give Father Ahai all of the glory. And surely, please, please let um, his peace overall uh, overcome you, because Father, Father's promises are true, and he keeps his promises. I give all the glory to Father Ahaya. Peace be with you. Shalom.